In this video, we will go through how to connect your HydroPods controller to a power block and then assign it to a device. If you haven't already, plug in the power block into an outlet and plug your device into the block and turn the device on. Then open up the app. From the main screen, select the Modules tab. Then tap the plus sign in the top right of the screen. The next screen will list all detected unregistered modules. Your power block should show up with its corresponding serial code which can be found on the back of each power block. If your power block does not show up here, it may be out of range. Now select the power block and add it to your controller. Next, select a device type from the drop down menu. Obviously, we are connecting a light, so we will select light as our device type. Now you can give your power block a name. Generally, you will want to name it by whatever you have plugged into the power block. So we will name ours HPS Light. Then click Save in the top right of the app, and then hit Back in the top left to return back to the module selection screen. Now select the Dashboard tab. Here you can set your devices to be automated by the controller based on parameters you have set through schedules, sensor triggers, and timers. You can also override the device to be on or off at any time. This concludes our PowerBlock setup guide. But for more information on how to automate your devices and receive alerts, please check out our Rules Setup Guide video.